Okay. Hi, it's Sarah here at Long Acres Alpaca Farm. Today we're doing transplantation. I'm going to show you how to do that. We just uh, called an animal from our herd and we took the contents out of C1. And if you've ever seen uh, C1, you'll know it's a very large fold. It holds an awful lot of rumen. Um, I just took a portion of this out. I put it into a plastic bag and closed it up tight. Uh, and now I have it just laying in a pan of warm water. Uh, the microbes in there are going to break down if they're exposed to either oxygen or they get too cool, I guess too hot as well. Uh, so that's why I have them sealed off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some out. I'm going to put it in a plastic container with a little bit of uh, warm water in. And then I'm going to strain it through some 4x4s. Uh, four you can use whatever you can, but you just want to strain it well. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and give it to the alpacas that are not chewing. Um, you can either tube it down the alpacas, which I'll probably do for some of the younger ones, or you can um, use a dredge gun. Uh, if you're going to use a dredge gun, you want to make sure you're well back in their mouth because um, they won't like the taste of this. So I'm going to move a little bit quickly here so it's not exposed to, too, to oxygen for too long and, um, and so it stays nice and warm. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot keep this any longer than what it takes you to, to basically do this because the microbes are going to break down rather quickly. So I'm sealing off this bag again. I'm going to put some warm water in here. Mix that up pretty well. Just take some four by fours, lay them across another container. So, if anybody wanted to know where green tea originated from, well, have a look. Reminds me of the green tea tea bag. So that's all of our juice coming out. And you can use this over and over and over again. Um, just for the sake of this video, to do it quickly, I'm just going to stick this back in the bag and just use another 4x4 four four so we can work fairly quickly. And you can see how this done. So you're going to, you know, by doing this method, it's so much easier than doing a spit transfer. So if you have an animal that you want to put down anyways, you might want to wait until uh, you can use some of the rumen. Um, obviously, you can use the rumen from a cow, but you're going to want to make sure that cow's healthy. If you go to a university, they will uh, probably have a, a donor cow that they use for such a thing. I know I've been to the universities before and they have them and uh, oops so I had a little bit of the clumps fall into this so what I'm going to do is strain it again because if there's any of the grass hay that's in there it'll get stuck in the tube feeding so I'm just going to run that through again There you have a green smoothie for your alpacas. And we're going to stop the video right now. I'm going to go out. And